Okay, so this is where it's all going to happen. I'm actually going to take some olive oil. I want my pan to be pretty hot too when I prepare the shrimp fried rice. So I'm going to throw some olive oil in the pan, a couple tablespoons of it. I want to take my eggs, scramble them up, make sure they're nice and scrambled. Um, make sure my oil is tossed around in this pan. I like to coat it really well. And I'm going to throw my eggs in. There we go. All right, let's see here. We're going to scramble those eggs up. And I am going to use one of my wooden spoons, which I like to use. Let me see if I can show you this too. You're going to just toss your eggs around. Make sure that, you know, they get scrambled. And again, I'm cooking them on a high heat because I really do want them to cook kind of quickly and um, hard. So I don't want them to be soft scrambled eggs. You know, a lot of times when you go into the Asian restaurants, you won't get um, soft eggs. They'll be fried pretty hard. And then when you fry your rice and you add your eggs um, to everything once it's done, you're going to see how I do that. <clears throat> it's going to be really good. So, let's see here. That's just about done. You can see how quickly they are cooking. It doesn't take that long to cook them. And we're getting them fried really nicely here. Scrape it off around the sides. We're going to use this wok right here for just about everything. We're going to cook our shrimp in it. We're going to do our rice in it. Um, so you don't have to dirty a whole lot of dishes, which is really nice. Okay, they're coming together really good. So I'm just going to chop them a little bit, break it apart. That way when we put it in our rice, it's not like one big clump of scrambled eggs. There, there you go. It's coming together really nicely. Let's see. I don't want it to shake the camera too much. I'm not that computer and camera savvy, but here we go. All right. And that's what we got. Some pretty hard fried eggs here, scrambled, hard fried. Okay, so then what I'm going to do, I'm just turn my fire, fire down just a little bit. I'm going to dump these in that big bowl that I have. All of my ingredients are going to go in this bowl. Voila, there we go. So the next thing that I am going to do is I am going to fry my shrimp. Same thing here, I'm going to take a little olive oil, put that in a pan, a couple tablespoons of it. My shrimp, they're already deveined and clean. I am going to add just a couple, table, couple um, tablespoons of um, butter. I have a little secret spice that I like to use too, but let's go ahead and get our shrimp in there. They are going to fry pretty quickly. Now, I believe in layering flavors, so we're going to add a little salt. Just going to sprinkle a little salt in. And I have this, I like to use this. This is a Louisiana Zatarans Shrimp and Crab Oil. Not a lot, just a little bit, because I love to um, give it a little extra heat. We'll put that in there. One of my little secrets. <clears throat> so we're going to fry this and put your, your flame back on kind of high. Let me see if I can show you that. So it's, it's up there because these shrimp will cook pretty quickly. You can see that all right. Okay, let me put you back down. One of these days I'll have to just get me a camera that does all that fancy stuff, you know? Oops, excuse me. Here we go. 
keep the eye on the pot there. See how fast the shrimp's cooking? Pretty quickly. Okay, I'm going to put a little pepper in there too. Toss it around. Layers and layers of flavor. And that butter is going to help it taste really good. Now, do you remember this Asian season that I told you about? I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit in there. Just again to add maybe about half a teaspoon just to add some more flavor in there with the ginger and the sesame seeds. Really yum, yum, yum. Oh, this is starting to smell so good. I wish you could smell it. <clears throat> now, the shrimp is just about prepared. So I'm going to add just a tad bit of soy sauce, just a little bit. Again, we're layering all these flavors together. It's so about a good teaspoon of soy sauce. I'm going to show you what it looks like. If you can see that. Got all those flavors coming together in here. And again, like I said, the shrimp cooked pretty quickly. So that's just about done. <coughs> Let me bring my bowl. Has my eggs in here. And I am going to add my shrimp to it. So I'd say maybe about three to five minutes max for the shrimp or maybe even less maybe two to four minutes all right now I'm going to just take that and just dump that in the pan a big bowl that I have remember I'm just dumping everything in there that's because everything is going to come together really easy now I want to get my um let's turn this down a little bit now my rice is just about ready. It's being steamed. Uh, I want to get my carrots, my green onions, and get those things together as well. So let's see here. Let's put this on the side while I get my rice. The rice is ready and it's nice and hot. to get it out of here but I've got it it was in the rice and the um, rice cooker there it is I'm just gonna put this on the side all right get my pan ready again I needed to use my gloves I'm just gonna sit that over here so I have my onions and my and my carrots I'm gonna put that in once I put my rice in I'm gonna turn my fire up really high again add some more oil just a little bit more, maybe about three tablespoons this time because my rice is going to go in here and I want my pan to be really hot. I'm going to grab a bigger spoon so that I can scoop my rice out a little easier. So, here we go. Let's see. And it's going to fry. The whole idea is to get that rice frying. Okay, don't worry about it if it's barking and flying and popping all over the place. That's what it does. Something you may not know about me is that I do have a catering business. It's called Lise Marie's Taste and Sea Gourmet. And, um, I really enjoy cooking. As a young girl, I always loved watching my mom, my grandmother cook in the kitchen. Uh, now, my mom wouldn't let me get in the kitchen, but my grandmother, she would. She let me get in the kitchen with her, and so I had a lot of fun cooking. <clears throat> wow. And I'm getting, I know it looks like a lot of rice, but I'm getting this rice in here. 
I gotta make sure this rice fries. All right, I think that's just about it. Now I'm gonna move this over. Now I wanna take my onions, my green onions, and that, and the carrots, and put that right on top of my rice because we're gonna take it and prepare all this together. We're gonna mix it all up together. You know when you go to Hibachi Grill, they take the carrots and chop them up and the onions and they chop it up and then they're going to use the soy sauce. So we're just tossing it now. This rock is very, very hot. So it's going to mix together. I guess you can see that. But I'm frying it. I want to add just about four tablespoons of the butter in here too. I'm adding it. Um, on top because if I would have added it when I on the pan in the pan when I first got started it probably would burn and we don't want it to burn we just kind of want it to melt over the rice some we're gonna mix everything together <clears throat> and so the butter is getting incorporated really nicely into this rice and you're gonna toss it around and toss it around and toss it around yeah, so it's starting to kind of stick together a little bit, which is what you want. Mmm, I just love it when I go to the um, Chinese restaurants or go to a, a bocce grill and they are preparing shrimp fried rice right there in front of me. I love it. <clears throat> so I'm going to take some more of this and add it. Uh, it's everything I have, I'm adding it because mine is almost out. I make it all the time. And I'm also going to add a few of the black sesame seeds. So I love the way they look in there. So there we go. We're adding some more. You can feel free to add some additional ginger if you want. We have the fresh ginger. It tastes so much better. Okay, so my rice just about done. I'm going to add some soy sauce in here. I don't really measure too much of the soy sauce. I put it on um, until I get the desired color that I like. So I would say I'm probably using maybe about four tablespoons of it. Mmm. Yeah. That looks really good. You want to make sure that the rice is fully coated with the soy sauce. There we go. I'm add just a little bit more. You know, it's coated, but I think I want a little bit more of the soy sauce flavor there. So, all right, now because my rice is just about done, now I'm going to take it and dump it in my pan. Let's turn the fire off. Looks pretty good, right? I'm going to dump it right here in the pan. So I have everything in this pan. Everything. Let's put the skillet, this pop block down. My eggs are in here. Let me show you. The eggs are in here. It's steamy hot. The shrimp are in here. And the rice is in here. And I'm just going to mix this all up together. So I'll put you back down. <clears throat> love having a really big bowl um, around that you can just dump everything in. I don't have the big hibachi grill, but this bowl works out great. And that is just about it. We've got some shrimp fried rice. If you want to add some more soy sauce to it, you can. Just want to make sure you get this mixed up really well together. All right. <clears throat> I don't use the chopsticks, but my son, he likes the chopsticks. So I'm going to just take a little bit of this. Shrimp fried rice. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Mm. Let's 
Let's see. And I am going to taste it. What do you think about that? Doesn't that look good? And wasn't that easy to make? So let's taste. Mmm. Oh my goodness. So good. Well, if you have a son and he says, Mom, can you fix shrimp fried rice? Just tell him, sure, I can fix it. Enjoy. Again, um, from Lisa Marie's Taste and Sea Gourmets, we love cooking. Bye.